Hello, Dr. Hashmi here. I'm just a psychiatrist. This video is about EHCP education and healthcare plan. It is a part of the series for ADHD throughout life. <clears throat> this video I'm going to talk about EHCP, which is a part of educational system in the UK. Some countries might not have this system or the system is called with a different name but the important thing you need to remember is what, what it is and what type of assessments you require to produce a document which the teachers, parents and the other healthcare professionals could use in helping and supporting a child and a young person in achieving the best of their abilities. <clears throat> so if a child and an adolescent has difficulties, any health issues, men mental and physical health issues, here in these videos I am talking about adult AD, uh, ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So if a child and a young person has ADHD, justifies an assessment. Now assessments are done by either psychiatrist with experience and training in children and adolescent mental health disorders or <clears throat> pediatricians who are fantastic in carrying out these assessments and initiation of treatment. So once the diagnosis is established, even rather before the diagnosis is established, if the child and a, and a young person in a schooling system in the junior and senior schools having problems in concentration and maintaining focus, having problems in task completion, you will see the person is more physically active or mentally active unable to keep themselves calm either physically or mentally <clears throat> or you will see actually are disorganized um, always late uh, unable to keep time records um, unable to understand what's being said to them properly jumping into con conversations and some boys in particular are known as the clowns of the class. All these say, symptoms goes in favor of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Now, <clears throat> if these symptoms are there and you see that the child and adolescent is uh, a young person finding it hard to attain the progress as expected, considering the fact that ADHD children and adolescents are very bright and intelligent and they are strong visual learners. So you will see them that they will acquire information which is more visually presented to them. Hence the grades can be quite variable. Some subjects they are getting more marks and quite at the best the other subjects they are struggling or sometimes not being able to attain the basic pass marks. In these situations, the first assessment I, in my view relevant is educational psychologist. So educational psychologist needs to carry out an assessment. On the basis of that assessment, psychiatric assessment or an assessment by a pediatrician needs to be done. Once the diagnosis is established, you need a series of other assessments which are inclusive of speech and language therapies. Integral to all this neurodiversity conditions or neurodiverse situations where you need speech and language therapist, you need occupational therapist, uh, you need a teacher's assessment from 
from the teaching point of view where they can actually pick things what the child and a young person has strengths and weaknesses. All these assessments collectively form a plan, a formal plan. And basically at one end of the paper you will see in one column the needs of the child which the school cannot provide under usual circumstances and require additional support and then how those plans are going to be achieved, how those needs are going to be addressed, what are the barriers in learning process, how that barriers can be overcome in simple, in most simplest and the easiest manner but in a manner which can be measured and assessed and the quality can be established that the child and the young person has taken the next step. So the targets needs to be quite specific, measurable within the reach of a child and a young person, not to the extent which actually set him for or her for a failure. Now, if the system is already in place, it's wonderful. If you are watching this video in a country where this system is not in place, then I recommend visit the website. You just need to Google EHCP or Education Healthcare Plan UK. And that will take you to the website which gives you phenomenal information that how this system works, how that uh, information uh, and, and, and the needs needs to be identified and how the targets needs to be set. You can do it at your own level. In some countries you might have to do it at the family level. You may need to hire the right professionals to do that job. But this, once you have put this plan in place, working alongside teachers and the school staff, you will see gradually the child and a young person start showing progress. If there is a need for medication, accept it. Because medication is there for our need. If there is no need for medication, of course, no doctor is going to prescribe you anything. But if there is a need, please do accept medication for your child. It is going to help especially in ADHD, children and adolescents, if they receive the right medication at the right time, you can see the progress straight away. <clears throat> Simple rule, if you see your child and young person or you struggling in an education system by reason of not being able to fo maintain focus, concentrate or task complete, disorganized, losing things unnecessarily, always late, unable to keep up with the organ basic organization in their life and in educational activities, suspect ADHD. And with the right plan in place, the child will benefit. ESCP in the UK brings additional funding to the school and to support that specific individual. There might be a system in place in your countries and different parts of the world. If not, you might have to pick up the bill. But do it for the sake of you will change lives by helping and supporting your children, your uh, young people by, over, by helping them overcome their barriers to learn and you will see marvelous progress. So this is ESCP. Next video will be how parents should react to a situation when they see their children, adolescents with possible ADHD symptoms. Thank you.
Do you know vitamin D deficiency could cause autism in your newborn? Hence, if you are pregnant, get your vitamin D checked straight away.